Hey all, in this video I'm going to be talking about something fairly important to everybody. How do you get results? How do you get the results that you're wanting when it comes to dog training? When it comes to behavioural shaping or rehabilitation? Well the answer is really quite simple and it is an answer that a lot of people don't like to hear. It's being consistent. Now the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've had a, quite a few people contact me saying, oh, we've had multiple trainers in the past and it doesn't seem to be working. Now of course that could be a genuine thing, maybe there's just not a, a click when it comes to the relationship between the, the trainer or coach and the client or owner of the dog, or it could be that they've not been consistent and that's all too often the reason. So that's the first questions I always ask is, who was the trainer, what was the methodology, and thirdly, were you consistent at the training? Nine times out of ten they say, oh we could have been more consistent, which makes me sort of say, well, it wasn't that the training wasn't working, it was that you weren't putting in the work for it to work. It's the same if you were trying to lose weight or to gain muscle in the gym. If you go to your PT and you put in the work when you're with your PT, but between seeing your PT, you don't go to the gym at all, you don't exercise at all, you don't pay attention to your diet at all, of course you're not going to get results. So when you're saying that you don't get the results you're looking for, you've got to be honest with yourself. The only person that you're cheating is yourself, because if you're continuously trying to get somebody to change techniques, to change the exercises, to change everything on their side, and you're not actually putting in the work, all you're doing is spinning your wheels. And that leads to the next point, which is incredibly important when it comes to getting results. Communication, honest communication. You've not had the time, you've been inconsistent. Be honest about it. Nobody's going to judge, they're just gonna say, okay, well you know that this is something that needs to be done, here's how we can get through it. Maybe we can change the way we're doing this so you need to spend less time. Or maybe we can change the way we're doing it so that you can have your dog work on this themselves with certain confidence building techniques or independence techniques, depending on the situation obviously. And if you are better at communicating, it means that you're not waiting between the sessions to get help. If you've waited four days and you're like, oh, we've really not been consistent in this, or I'm really finding this difficult, and you send a video and you say, hey, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not getting this? Then you can get help. Now, when it comes to communication between sessions, with this one I'm talking about, Noble Canine, because I know that there's a lot of places that don't like that communication between the sessions. That's something that I actually highly encourage with our clients, because it means that we can help between the sessions. So, to sum up, it's really quite simple, and it's really not got that much to do with your dogs. To get the results, you have got to be consistently putting in the work that you have been advised to do so. You've got to be very, very good at communicating with your coach, your trainer, or your behaviour specialist. And you've got to be honest, because if you're not honest, the only person you're cheating is yourself. And that, guys, is how you get results with regards to your dog training or your behavioural shaping or your behavioural rehab. Have a good one.